What's different for you being here last year versus this year? Um, I think I'm a little bit more comfortable this year. I think I had a pretty good summer here and just trying to build off of that. How difficult was the season? I know you, you battled some injury. Uh, yeah, it wasn't the easiest. I didn't play for half the year with a uh, head injury, so it was a little bit lonely and a little, uh, a little tough at times, but just happy to be back here and, and be with the guys and be on the ice and work out and all that fun stuff. Uh, after the second one, I had to be really careful, obviously, and uh, I communicated with the Flyers too and made sure that they knew everything and sort of take advice from them because uh, I think they, they have a lot of experience with this kind of stuff and, and uh, yeah, just be very cautious and rather wait a couple more days than go one day too early. So. When did it start to clear up for you? What do you mean? Like in terms of, you know, when you came back, like did, did, you, did you have to wait like know a few weeks after the symptoms went away before you went back on the uh ice. yeah well i i waited a lot until i started to do exercise i think it was about a month and then i spent a month sort of gradually uh, doing more and more going on the ice and then so yeah i would say it was about two months altogether before i did contact or played any games your concussion symptoms was it just uh, visual or audio do you have it like the whole like dark room yeah pretty much i mean uh sensitive sensitive to light and sound was a big one and then just uh you know just a headache so and when you say you had to you were doing the ramping up with the, with the heart rate so that if, if you got started getting symptoms you had to peel back a little bit yeah uh second time as i said i had to do it little step by little step because uh, i guess the first time wasn't enough and so just making sure that I didn't do too much at a time, so I wouldn't, you know, get setbacks or anything, and just try to do the right thing. Did you talk to anyone or like any teammates, former players who have gone through things like that, and, and try to like learn how to deal with it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I asked the uh, guys around here. I mean, the doctors and all the physio guys. Uh, as I said, they probably have a, a lot of experience with head injuries, and just try to take all the advice I can get. And uh, obviously, my dad played for a long time. He had he had some problems with that too, and. He knows guys that had problems with that too, and just uh, just sort of make sure I I don't try to be a hero and go go back too early and just take it a step at a time. How did you sustain the head injuries? Was it like an elbow or into the boards or? Uh, it wasn't even like a big dirty hit. I guess just the way I landed wasn't good, and the uh, second time was the same. So it wasn't anything like a brutal hit, uh, anything disgusting. It was just unfortunate. Did you get, like, change your helmet? Or or something just to help maybe in the future? i just try to not put myself in bad positions. I'm a, not a big guy, so I have to be careful with that kind of stuff and make sure to not be scared on the ice, but at the same time uh, be smart about it. Was it hard, you maybe with that? Was it hard with that, with the, like in the back of your mind, the worry about it happening again? Uh, I, th I thought it would, but when I got back uh, after the second time, I didn't really think about it. I trusted that. I did everything the right way and felt that my head was doing good, yeah. and so it wasn't really a problem for me when I came back. You've obviously always been motivated to you know, make, make it to the NHL, succeed in your career, but do you feel any sense of extra motivation this year given the fact that, that last year was kind of spoiled by the injuries? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I didn't get a chance to show myself a lot. I mean, I only played, I don't know, about 20 games. And so, uh, and so yeah, a lot of people, you know, they count me out because I didn't play a lot and head injuries it's a pretty serious thing so for me I'm just trying to get back to how I felt before and move from there. How would you describe your game for fans that maybe don't have a team to play? Uh, play offensive game I'm a smaller guy so I try to use my speed and pretty good with the puck uh, so uh, I like to be creative and make uh, and make plays so I'll just say overall just the offensive game. It did. How much are you looking forward to next? Sorry? How much are you looking forward to next season? Just kind of a clean slate and, and being able to show yourself a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. I think I uh, I worked hard this summer, and obviously it takes some time before you see those kinds of results and a new team and everything. So I'm I'm excited to get going and see what uh, see uh, how my work pays off. What's the new team? Nebro, Sweden.